A lot of people have asked me how I play uh, finger pick a three string guitar. And uh, so I thought I'd just show you the basic three patterns that I use. It, it comes uh, from the Merle Travis type of picking that he did. And uh, where he had a bass going all the time. And he picked the other strings with his fingers. The problem you have with the three string is you only have three strings. So it's hard to keep up that bass pattern all the time. But he hardly ever used his thumb to play the melody on the three string to make it have a more uh, or a deeper sound. Uh, you have to use your uh, thumb to play the uh, melody. Now, a lot of people that play the three st string if they do play just the melody, they play it on the top string. With this, you play it with all, all uh, strings. All right, here are the three basic patterns. The first one is not a, a brand new pattern. A lot of people use it. You pull up on the bottom string and the top string together. Your thumb hits the middle string. Your forefinger hits the top string. Your thumb hits the bottom string, your forefinger hits the top string, and you end up with the thumb hitting the middle string. You just practice that over and over and pretty soon it just becomes natural. The other thing I do that I did on the banjo more was just a roll. And that's what it is. You hit the bottom string, the top string, the middle string with the thumb, the forefinger hits the top string. So the thumb is just going between the bottom string and the middle string and your forefinger hits the top string. The other thing I use is what they used to call on the banjo, I don't know what they call it today, is double thumbing. And it's just basically hitting a string with the uh, thumb and then the forefinger hits the top string. So it would be like a... just going back and forth and then of course do you hit single strings when you need to so when you put all these together you come up with with playing a melody now we'll focus on my fingers so you can see how I change the pattern questions, uh, just put them in the comment section and I'll try and answer them. Um, but just practice this over and over and all of a sudden it just becomes natural. And 
you know, you may start out playing most of your melodies on the first string, but as you go along, uh, you'll venture out and start playing things on the low G and the D string. Good luck.